Hey guys, today I thought I'd bring you a uh, different little video. Here at the shop we got a porta cool monstrosity. <laughs> it's a uh, porta cool like cooling slash uh, I don't know if I want to call it evaporator assembly, but um, this is supposed to help cool down the shop, circulate some air, uh, make the shop feel a little bit cooler. Um, so this video is kind of like a review. I'm not super knowledgeable on that on this. We have uh, we've only had it a few days. Um, we've been using it a little while, um, but let me show you around it. So here it is. I mean, this thing's pretty big. It's huge. <laughs> so. Uh, what you do, I guess, is you uh, fill it up with water and it puts off a little bit of a mist. Um, and what we've been finding is it's actually putting a lot of moisture feel in the air. This is the uh, back side of the unit. Um, this is, uh, feels like uh, paper this year. Um, it's like a paper grid. And I'm pretty sure that these are serviceable. Um, I don't know where the owner's manual is. Uh, the boss here set this up, got it fired up, and is using it. He made the purchase. Um, when I got here today, I just turned the fan on. I turned the, the pump off for the water. Um, it is on wheels. It rolls really easy. You, so you can pretty much put it anywhere in a shop. Um, so this valve, I'm not a hundred percent certain what it does yet. And I'm trying to be as informative as I can in this video. I'm sure it tells you in the owner's manual. What I do know is down in here, there's a bucket, um, or a valley and that is full of water. Typically, um, you can actually see it splashing around down in there. So that is the water pan. And you fill this baby up with water, and you got a gauge here that tells you uh, what your water level is. And over here on the side, so this side will be your front. This is where the fan will blow off, blow, you know, obviously the wind will blow this way, and uh, the mist comes out. Um, you got a cord here, um, it's, it's not super long. So that might hinder some people if they're thinking about buying it. Um, over here is how you control the unit. Um, you turn the pump on for the water. And uh, obviously your fan control. It's not crazy noisy um, on the highest setting. I turned it off to do this video because all you guys would hear is wind noise. <clears throat> we have larger shop fans here. Um, like these guys over here. And I would say it's just about as noisy, if you guys can hear that on this video, it's just about as noisy. Uh, so it's not tremendous, it's not deafening, um, but it is contribute does contribute to the noise in the shop. One thing I will tell you, let's fire this thing up. Um, I don't want to run the pump, I'm just going to run the fan for airflow. On the highest setting, you can hear it kick on. The highest setting... It does sound a little bit noisier than normal fan if you're up close to it, but if you've got it set up across the shop, it's not that bad. So we normally just have it on midway, uh, about halfway with the fan switch, and um, turn the pump on, but obviously I don't want to do that. Um, here's what the serial tag is, for the one we purchased. So what I will tell you guys, and uh, part of what I want to inform you of, sorry about the wind noise in front of that fan. Um, when you have the pump on and it's got, uh, it's pumping water and it's putting a mist out here in the shop. As you can see here on the shop floor, like as everybody's seen with concrete um, and there's a lot of moisture and humidity in the air, the shop floor will turn like a darker color because there's moisture on the concrete, it's absorbing it. Um, what I will tell you is with that fan on, with the pump on, we leave the door open over here. Um, with that on full blast for a while, this shop floor will actually be very, very wet. Very wet. And I mean, 
I'm not talking running water, but it does pool up in places. It gets so wet in here. Um, so that little puddle over there is more than likely from that machine running all day with the pump on. When I got here, I turned it off. And I'll tell you, it, this floor looked a lot wetter when I got here. It's uh, actually cleared up a little bit. I mean, look at the water from underneath the ramp. It puts a lot of moisture in the shop. Now, I haven't fooled with the settings and I haven't used it long enough to know, you know, maybe if I turn the fan down a little bit, the moisture content will be better of the shop. I don't know that. But obviously we didn't buy that unit just for airflow with the fan, you know, cause we could have just bought a fan unit. Um, another thing I will say is when I come in here from outside, so today and yesterday, we've had like extreme humidity. Uh, I don't know, it's been 80%, 70, 80%. It's wicked humid out right now. Um, so under normal circumstances, it may be a little better. And when I walk from outside in here, it does feel a little bit cooler. Now, another thing that I've noticed um, just working in the shop is when I grab a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard, uh, it feels damp. You know, we have parts stored up over here. When you grab um, a filter over there to change a filter out, the cardboard feels damp. Um, the papers we have in this little toolbox, when I filled this out yesterday, it felt like it had, you know, water on it. It was damp feeling. But, um, yeah, I, I'm not sure that it's good to breathe that much uh, moisture in the air walking around the shop. Um, you can definitely feel it. It does give a cool feel, but it's damp. So I'm not really sure if I would recommend this unit quite yet. Um, it is uh, an interesting unit. Um, and it is massive. Um, and I'm pretty sure these are anywhere from two to three grand, depending on where you buy it. Um, I would just say 2,500 to play it safe, but, uh, you know, the verdict's still out. I'm not, I'm not hundred percent convinced this is a uh, good idea for this shop. Um, I think with the door open from what I was hearing during the day, the moisture is a lot worse in the shop. Like the shop needs the airflow with the doors open. What's unfortunate about this shop is we only have this one overhead door. Um, there's, so there's no other airflow on this back wall. Um, we got the office in there. And then, uh, you know, here's our back wall. That's it. You know, the windows are closed. So, uh, guys, uh, I hope this was a little bit helpful to somebody uh, considering. I don't know if there's any videos out there yet on this. Um, but that is my take on it. Um, you know, I hate to sound like a negative Nancy, but I'm not convinced that this is a good investment. Um, maybe over time I'll change my mind and do another review on it or another, uh, you know, my opinion on it, I guess I will say. But, uh, for now I'm going to leave it at that. Um, it, it does look like it's well made. I'll give it that. It does seem like it's got some quality to it. It's heavy. Um, but it rolls really easy. So, you know, whatever. We'll uh, we'll try it out. We'll feel it. We own it at this point. Feel it out and see uh, see how it goes. Um, I don't know if like just a large portable AC unit um, would be better, but for me, um, what I was seeing with this unit is it's just too much moisture. Another thing I'll point out. I know it's getting louder over here, but when this thing's running with a pump on, these right here, these fins will be soaking wet. Like you can visually see water on them. Um, and they feel nothing more than paper. I mean, I can crush it poking it. So I'd, I'd like to know like a little more research into um, what these are all about and what the paper is supposed to do, if it's supposed to suck up the moisture. But I know right now when I came in, these were wet and now they're dry just for me running the fan. It's an interesting, uh, interesting technology. And uh, I should probably do a little bit more reading up on it so I'm a little more knowledgeable. And uh, I may do that when I get some downtime or not. <laughs> but as of right now, guys, uh, that's it. That's my take on this uh, Porta Cool unit. Peace.